गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेटस डू चैप्टर टू इन अकाउंट्स दैट इज ड्यूअल इफेक्ट ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन एंड टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन इन अवर चैप्टर वन वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न द टर्म बिजनेस ट्रांजेक्शन लेटस रिकेपिचुलेट एंड रिवाइज वॉट द बिजनेस ट्रांजेक्शन मीन्स अ बिजनेस ट्रांजेक्शन मीन्स द एक्सचेंज ऑफ प्रोडक्ट सर्विस of the business for cash or credit between two or more than two person you are transacting for the goods for the item for the service so whatever you are transacting on one hand you are giving the product or service other hand you are getting cash so in this manner whatever exchange took place between two parties the two person is most important that event to be called as a business transaction now let us try to understand the types of business transaction in business organization also we have learned there are mainly two type economic transaction and or economic activity and non economic activity so let us concentrate first on non economic the non economic transactions are actually it is not valued in terms of money and that is why we are not recording in books of account any non economic transactions are not valued and not valued in terms of money and it is not financially important or it doesn't change any financial value in our books of account so we are not recording this an example you can say that an order is received just in receipt of an order is not an economic transaction the day when you supply the goods there will be a financial exchange of value and the relationship may be uh, classic uh, developed as a debtor and the trader and like that receipt of an order is a non economic transaction the second you can say the meeting held with the customer for order or for any contract to be given you just sit and discuss about that particular project that meeting itself is not a financial transaction so in this manner whatever non economic transactions are there are not to be recorded in books of account and so that story and here so we simply have to identify if a non economic transaction not to be recorded in books of account now the major branch is our economic transaction the economic transaction means the transaction which has its financial value and you can measure in terms of money and it do affect our business assets value and other financial activity so this economic transaction are classified further into two manner number 1 cash transaction the cash transaction means that the transaction in which cash or bank is directly involved and it do has an effect as one of the fold of account that is a cash or bank now this cash transaction further classified in terms of hard cash means as i said cash or bank is clearly involved in this transaction the second is that is the credit transaction that exchange took place but still exactly the cash is not paid or received and you are creating a relationship with the debtor or a creditor as per the transaction and other transactions are some special transactions it means that not related to the goods exchange but it may be for some specific reason the event has to place like you can say that is the theft of goods goods may be stolen away goods are given as a donation goods taken for the personal use or goods are destroyed by rain or a fire like that so all these to be called as a special transaction the cash transaction can be possible in four different manner number 1 when you purchase an asset and you pay the payment 
For example, furniture purchased. On one hand, furniture coming into the business, your one asset increase. On other hand, you are making a payment by cash, the other asset decrease. So the twofold of that cash transaction purchase of asset, you can say that furniture and cash. Like that, you may have a goods. Here, the item which you are trading in the business, you purchase or a sale. Those goods, those transactions to be called a goods transaction. For an example, goods purchase. Again, here what happened? Goods are coming in the business and cash or a bank check you have paid. So, one asset in the form of goods increase, other asset in the form of cash or bank balance decrease. So, here also the twofold effect took place. The third is service. You may be providing a service. Service means your service may be of a transportation or service may be of an electricity or a communication or whatever. So when the services are provided, one hand you have provided the service, other hand you are supposed to receive money for that service. So in this manner also your transaction took place. So the person, the employee provided a service of job and work he has done for you. So salary to be paid to him. So salary is your one fold and other. The payment is made by cash is the another. So for the service also either you have to pay or you may be receiving. Next one is that is the receivable and payable. The transaction which took place into the credit for that you may have a receivable. The goods are sold on credit and the data he has accepted a bills of exchange. So you are supposed to receive money for that bill. That total amount to be called bills receivable. Like that when you have to pay to the creditor. That become your liability and that to be considered as a payable. If you remember in chapter 1 we have learned the meaning part of each and every such terms which are used over here. Now the next is that is the credit transaction. Credit transaction give a uh, birth to either a party as a data or a party as a creditor. When you sold goods to the trader on credit, the trader become the data for you, one kind of an asset for you. And when you purchase goods from the credit, then the creditor you become a liability for you and you have to make payment to that person in future. So these are the credit transaction. Here you have <coughs> The two folds are, for an example, goods sold to Ram. So the one fold become the Ram. Ram is the receiver. Second fold become the sales. So in this manner, you have, there is no cash involvement. But still the two folds are there. And so you have to record the transaction. Like that, the creditor. Now, other type of the transactions are internal or external transaction. Now internal transaction means the transaction which took place within the business and financial changes took place just because of the some journal entries which you are recording. In that the first is that is the depreciation. We have learned the meaning of depreciation. That permanent and regular reduction in the value of an asset due to the use or due to the passage of time. Whatever value reduction you record in books of account known as a depreciation. So here also the depreciation is calculated on asset. So twofold become the depreciation is the one fold and the asset is the another. So that entry you need to record. There is no cash involvement. There is no external party involvement. But still it has a financial effect. So we need to record. The next one is that is the account transfer. The drawings means the amount withdrawn by the owner and because of drawing the capital decrease. So at the end of the year you are supposed to transfer the drawing balance to the capital account. So the journal entry you have to write the two folds affected in this particular thing are one is the capital account debit two drawings account capital the credit. So it means that capital decrease and drawing account you have closed and transfer to the uh, capital account. So in this manner there are many more internal entries 
which you have to record in books of account. The next is that is the external entries. The entries which are occurred due to the X party, third party involved in the business. In that you have one is that is the sale of goods. As you are selling goods, it may be in the form of cash or it may be in the form of credit. But sale of goods is the external party involvement. Next is that is interest received from bank. When you have your account with the bank, bank gives you interest. So one party is the bank, another is your interest. So two folds are there. Cash deposited in the bank. You are giving your money to the bank for the investment purpose. So cash goes out, bank becomes the receiver. Two folds are there. In this manner, whatever business transaction took place in business, two types are there, economic, non-economic. Non-economic not to be recorded, so just identify, leave it aside. Only proceed with the economic. It may be cash, it may be internal or external. In cash, there are few types, internal, external, there are different examples. So, this is what all about economic transaction for which you have to do the recording. Now, the next question is that how to decide a transaction is a cash transaction or a credit transaction. So, you must know that how to identify cash transaction. See, for the identification of cash transaction, the one thing is actual word cash or bank is involved in the transaction. For an example, that goods purchase for cash. So it's very clear that word cash is involved. So you can say one fold is your purchase, another fold is your cash. So here the word cash or a bank is clearly mentioned. The second is that is the name of party is not given. Goods purchased, only this thing is said, rupees 5,000. Neither the name of party is there nor the word cash is there. Only the indicator word purchase. Purchase means something comes in and because you have purchased, it implies that cash must be paid because there is no name of party is mentioned. So the twofold become purchase the one account and cash is the another account. So name of party is not mentioned. The next is that is the word which indicate income or payment. The indicator word for example salary paid. Only two words are there salary paid. But if understood that paid word itself is an indicator. That salary paid means you have made the payment and how you can make payment by cash. So, word indicator guide you that it is a cash transaction. So, the twofold become salary is the one, cash is the another. So, in this manner, you can identify the transaction is a cash transaction. Now, next is how to identify credit transaction. That this transaction is a credit. Cash is not involved, payment or receipt is not done in cash. So, here the first is that cash or a bank is not involved. That is word in the transaction. Nowhere it is say cash or word. Uh, that bank word. For an example, goods purchased from Ram. Purchase word is there. Ram is there. Nowhere you have any idea about payment. Simply you have purchased. And because payment things are not clear, you can say that goods are purchased from Ram on credit basis. So the twofold here become one is the purchase, another is the Ram. Why here Ram? Because here cash or bank word is not clearly mentioned. Next, the relation of the debtor or creditor possible. The same transaction because the name is there, you can say you have purchased goods from Ram. You have created Ram as a creditor. He become your liability. In future you have to pay. The next is that is the name of the trader is mentioned. Again the same transaction. Goods purchased from Ram. The Ram is the name of a trader is clearly mentioned. 
when the name is there and no word cash or bank is involved it means it is a credit transaction and next is that is the one personal account is affected in credit transaction person one person name is always there so in this manner you can identify a transaction as a cash or transaction as a credit so what today we have learned meaning of transaction business transaction all its type how they affect in the books of account and how to identify cash or credit transaction now based on this you have the two illustration in chapter 2 on the page illustrations are there 1 and 2 the illustration 1 for identification of is it a cash transaction or credit transaction and illustration 2 is also based on cash and credit transaction so all the classification economic non economic cash or credit based on that two illustrations are there you revise after referring this again you can easily able to answer how to identify transaction i hope you all understood thank you